All right, Sophie King Cool here with Philip from Porn. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. I'm, uh, I appreciate the, the invitation. So, this is a crazy time we're living in right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, uh, we have a tour scheduled in April, and uh, it's uh, postponed. Uh, we are trying to reschedule all the gigs, but uh, uh, things are very strange. I mean, especially now, I mean, you guys got your album comes out in a week. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Next week, Friday. Well, I mean, that's got to be a kind of a good thing. I mean, half the world right now is quarantined, so at least they got some music to look forward to. Absolutely. And we are very lucky that we have the streams, the streams, we have internet, because people don't have to go to the store to buy the CDs. So uh, internet is, in a way, saving the... The, the industry, the musical industry. We don't, we, we, we can't play, we can't have a gigs, gigs, uh, tour are canceled, but we still have internet and uh, that's a, a good thing. It's how crazy how things changed from a month ago. I mean, you know, touring was the main income source for a musician and now it's albums back again. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we are talking with uh, our agent in, uh, in the US and uh, uh, she's uh, uh, cancelling and postponing a lot of tour uh, with the band she works with. Uh, it's the same here in Europe. Um, and as you say, uh, in, a, in a blink of an eye, uh, everything's changed. Now, you say you're in France. What's it like there? I mean, I'm in, I'm in New York and it's, we're almost on total lockdown here. Oh, we are. Uh, you may know that uh, now Italy is the, um, the, the, the country uh, with the the, the most cases of the coronavirus and uh, Spain too and uh, France it's quite the same uh, so we are in total quarantine uh, we are not allowed to go outside um, so it's a uh, it's a total quarantine and it's uh, for a week now and uh, they uh, they, they uh, it's it's gonna be like that till I think uh, the end of April now, what do you do for groceries and things like that? If you're in total lockdown, you can't. Ah, lock. we, we we are allowed to 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 go to the groceries. It, it, the, this is the only things allowed, and we have to um, carry uh, a, um, an authorization with us, uh, signed and uh, testifying that uh, uh, um, that we are going to the grocery. And uh, if you are not going to the grocery and you are arrested by the police, uh, you are you you will have a fine. And uh, if you are arrested three times, we you, you can go to jail for six months. Wow. I mean, this is... I would never think I would ever get down to this. This is absolutely... Absolutely. And it, it was all in the movies. And as, as you said, uh, in a month, uh, the future uh, uh, and the, the, all, all, all what we imagine in the, in the movies, it's the reality now. So it's very weird. Now, one thing I do enjoy is I was just watching your new video that just came out, and if you start piecing them together, it's almost like watching a movie. So it's, it's something very entertaining to do when you're sitting there locked up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, uh, we, we loved um, shot this video. Um, you, you may uh, talk about uh, Dead in Every Eyes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And we shot we shot this music video in Los Angeles uh, in January. Uh, so it it seems. Uh, with all this, the actual events, it seems to be uh, uh, so, so far away. Um, but it, it was just in January, um, and uh, uh, we we were supposed to 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 be in Los Angeles uh, in uh, June. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be possible uh, because, to me, things are not uh, going to be normal till uh, maybe uh, the this fall. But uh, we are very proud of the video. We we recorded, we shot the video with Industrialism Films, and they uh, they did amazing videos for uh, great bands like uh, Stabbing Westward, uh, Three Teeth, uh, The Sixty Nine Eyes. So we are very proud, honored to to uh, to to have worked with uh, with them. Well, this album here, it's it's the third part of a trilogy. What made you come yeah. up with with that concept? Oh, um, I was working on a novel, a sci-fi novel, uh, and um, the main character of this novel um, 
uh, feels like he was eaten uh, by an ogre inside him. And the concept of the ogre uh, uh, eating you inside uh, came from that novel. And uh, I started to work on, on this, and uh, I was very interested by the, the, um, the villains, um, the, uh, like, like you may find in the comic books. And I came with the, the, the idea of, uh, of a serial killer uh, called Mr. Strangler. I started to work on the story uh, of the guy, and uh, um, I have so many ideas, so, so many things for him to do. So I decided to, uh, to, uh, to work on three albums with a guy. Uh, the first part is about his childhood. The second part is about him being an adult and doing what he, he, he loved to do, uh, slaughtered people, uh, killing people. And the third part, uh, the last album of the trilogy, is about him uh, being jailed and facing his death. So it came quite naturally uh, because um, I I write a lot. I uh, I, um, I I love to to create stories, characters. So I decided to to make it uh, in three parts because it feels more simple to me than just in one album. It's very short one album. So I decided to to make three three albums. And we are an ind independent band. We don't have a label, so uh, we have nobody. Uh, to uh, to tell us that uh, we don't have to do it, you know, because um, label don't like the the um, uh, trilogy uh, things uh, on three two, two or three album. Uh, so we we were free to do it, and uh, we did it. Hey man, I, I love it. I mean, it's it's actually it's like listening to a movie, you know. I mean, I, I can't wait for the third part to come out. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate. It. Now, uh, speaking of, of a movie, is there any chance of this album actually becoming into a film at a later point, or no? I would love to. I really would love to. Uh, because um, I have so many things to, to explain about the, 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 the guy, Mr. Strangler. And uh, uh, I, would, I would love to, to, um, to work on a comic book. I was starting uh, to work on a comic book with a, um, a drawer. Some, uh, but he... he, he, he he didn't have that much time, so uh, we postponed the, the, um, this. Uh, I will get back to Mr. Strangler in the future um, because uh, um, it's uh, it's to me it's an interesting character. There is a lot of um, to do with him, um, and I'm also working on a new trilogy, and it's a sequel to. Mr. Strangler trilogy. So we will have something. Um, he will appear in this new trilogy, not as the main character, but it will. And um, yeah, I will. Have, I don't have any connection in the um, in the um, uh, um, Hollywood industry, cinema industry. But um, I, I will dig in it, and uh, I hope maybe in the future, ten, five, maybe ten days, ten uh, ten years, maybe. It will become a um, um, a TV show or a movie. Well, I mean, the the concept's fantastic. I mean, there's definitely so much potential to continue with the character, and there's so much I'd love to to see. I mean, in my mind, I have so much pictured from listening to the album, but I can't wait to see what comes of them. Oh, thank you. You know, it's pretty ironic. You said you didn't have time before to to work on certain things. Now there's nothing left but time. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But, you know, um, with, um, with Erwan, uh, the guitarist of the band, uh, we work a lot. We are always, always working on, on music. So um, we are quite sometimes chasing time. Um, the new album, uh, well, when I say new album, it's not the, the album that will be released next week, but the new album, what's going after this trilogy, is already written and we have already started the 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 recording uh, of this uh, of this album. So we are always always working, and uh, we are now in the new trilogy. Now, are you guys able to still work together? Do you guys Skype like me and you are doing right now, or what? Are, what are you guys doing? Oh, uh, these days uh, we are not seeing each other because we don't we are not allowed to. But um, uh, we work uh, um, um, at, at in in distance, you know. Um, 
Um, just today, uh, we were working on a new song with Erwan, and he was sending uh, to me uh, the files uh, that he had just recorded some guitars. And I'm I was working on the on the vocals, uh, recording it and sending uh, uh, the, the the files uh, to him via internet. Uh, as I said previously, we are very lucky that we we still have internet. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I realized. If, I don't know if you noticed, but it's slowing down. I mean, everyone's at home. Everyone's on Wi-Fi. Everything's connected. You know I mean? You're moving. Yeah. It's like that computer. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's absolutely. Cool. And we are we are lucky it's still working. And we uh, we all hope uh, we, we will not have uh, any problems with, uh, with the Wi-Fi and Internet in general. Now, over there where you are, what are they saying is the timeline for things to start getting back on track? Uh, um, about what? About the music or in general? In like when life can go back in order. Like when do you think you're going to be able to go back on tour? When are you going to be able to leave the house, you know? Oh, you know, but leaving the house, uh, I think it's going to be quite normal. Not normal at 100%, uh, 100% but norm, we will be allowed to, to go outside, I think, in, in, uh, uh, by the end of, of April, in May. Uh, I don't think there, is, there, there will be any festivals um, uh, this summer. Uh, they are all going to cancel. But uh, we are trying to reschedule and postpone the, the, the gigs in uh, uh, autumn, this, uh, this late, maybe October or November. But all the bands are trying to postpone all the gigs. So uh, it's very difficult to have a slot now because there were already gigs uh, scheduled on uh, on October, November, December, and now all the gigs uh, um, from April, May, or June are trying to reschedule for the end of the year. So I think we are not uh, going to tour before uh, maybe January or February. Well, yeah, I mean it's crazy, like you said. I mean, by the time fall comes around, when people are able to start actually leaving the house, it's like. Everyone's going to try and get a slot booked for, for that period of time, you know. Yeah, absolutely, and 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 that's why it's difficult. And to me, I'm quite sad because, uh, as I told you, we we will we will have a new album coming in March of the next year. So we we uh, maybe we we will not uh, do the a tour for the the, the current album uh, because we have another album coming in just one year. So it's like that. We will not have maybe this tour for the, 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 the album to come, No Monsters in God's Eyes, because we have a new album coming too. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, as a musician right there, that's got to be quite crazy thinking of those things. Like you're going to completely miss that whole beat of a tour to, to promote the last album because you got everything's pushed back and you got something else coming out. Yeah, absolutely. But I think um, um, it's, it's going to be like that for a lot of bands. Uh, not the biggest bands because they, uh, they, they sell a lot of albums. Um, it's not that difficult. But for uh, the smaller bands, we need to, uh, to have a lot of gigs and need to uh, release music. Right, uh, right. It's going to be more difficult and uh, they, 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 they will have the same problem as us, I think. Now, you know, one thing I got to ask you is, financially, how does that impact you when you're not able to tour? Oh, it impacts us, but not that much because um, we are not that big to, um, to tour a lot. Uh, we don't have a booking agent, for example. Uh, okay. We do all for, for, by our own. So, in fact, we are not uh, the, uh, the kind of band who suffer the most of that. I think bands who tour a lot will suffer more because they have maybe uh, uh, 30, 40 uh, gigs that they are not going to, to do. So in a year, it's a lot. Us, we are not that uh, impacted by the, by the, um, the, the actual events uh, uh, regarding to the tour. And by the way, as I said previously, we have the streams. And our streams are very good. Are, are, they are increasing. So in a way, it's not that a big deal for us. It's more about uh, being sad of not having the tour to promote the album. 
I mean, you know, like I, David Crosby, you know, from Crosby, Stills, and Nash just said that uh, if he's not able to tour, he's not going to be able to pay his mortgage. He's going to end up losing his house. I mean, it's, it's yeah. crazy how to think of these things. Absolutely. And it's not, um, we are all doing other stuff. Yeah, um, it's not our main activity, uh, the band, porn. So, uh, losing these gigs, these gigs uh, is not a very big problem because we have other problems uh, because of what we do uh, uh, outside music. Um, so, we'll see. Now, you were mentioning the streams are, are building up. And fans want to go and they want to see the videos. They want to learn more about the band. They want to know what's going on. Where are they going to go for all that? Oh, Facebook. Um, it's our main uh, social network. Um, uh, there's all the all the info about the bands are on Facebook. Perfect. It's I've... porn, porn, the band to find us uh, everywhere. Uh, if you want to find the band, you just have to uh, to uh, to search for porn, the band, and uh, it's the um, it's uh, how to to find us in Facebook. Perfect, man. Well, I mean, I'm looking forward to uh, the, the release of the album that comes out on the 27th. Is that right? Yeah, Friday, 27. So we're less than a week away. Can't wait to finish out the trilogy. Uh, I love the new video, and hopefully things turn around and get better for you, and uh, you're able to get out and uh, start doing more things. Yeah, absolutely. We are optimistic, so um, we have a lot of things to to, to come. Uh, we are sad because the, the the April tour is postponed, but we have the new album coming next next week, and we will release um, lots of uh, remixes made by very great bands uh, like um, Combi Christ, Stabbing Westward, uh, Orgy, uh, Jimmy Urine from the Mindless Self Indulgence and uh, other uh, great remixes, and we will release that um, starting uh, in April. So it's a good way for us to uh, to end the, the trilogy, because there are bands uh, that I was very fan of, um, so we are very glad, and the remixes are awesome. So they're remixing your songs? These, these yeah, songs? they are remixing, yeah, yeah, absolutely. They are remixing uh, songs from the new album. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's really Yeah, cool. and we, we have also Orgy. Uh, we have also Chris Vrina from Nine Inch Nails. Uh, we have lots of great bands that I, I was uh, uh, a big fan of. So we are very, very, very glad of that. Now, how were you able to connect with all those bands? Oh, uh, internet. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's magical. Uh, uh, I send them emails. Uh, uh, some of them knew the band, some don't, and uh, they, uh, they listen to the, to the songs, and uh, they, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they accepted to be, uh, to be on board. I was very, very uh, uh, glad and very honored uh, to have Chris Verena from Nani uh, It's so huge. And uh, uh, Stabbing Westward, I'm a big fan of Stabbing Westward. It was maybe one of the biggest influence uh, of, the, of the band. Um, uh, we have Combi Christ. It's a very, very big band these days. Um, the Annex. Uh, Jimmy Urine from Mindless Self Indulgence. So, uh, yeah, we are uh, we are very very proud. And as I say, we are an independent band, and um, many days, many years before, uh, we'll not be able to uh, to 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 enter in contact with them. And today, with internet, just sending an email. Hello, guys. I'm Philip from the band Porn. Uh, uh, I would like to to uh, to have you uh, in a remix album and things just came easily that's awesome man that's good for you yeah absolutely we are very 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 glad yeah i'm excited about listening to those tracks it's going to be something interesting a new take now did you let the band select the songs or did you tell them them what song you, you'd like them to do um uh, we choose which we choose them to, uh uh we choose uh, i choose the song for them so that must have been a, a cool process going through and, and, and thinking of what band that you're listening to them and saying, you know what, I think this track works best for you. Yeah, absolutely. It was that. Um, and uh, 
I know this band bands very very well because uh, 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 I listen to all their albums and I I, I choose I did, oh I think uh, this band could do a good remix for this song uh, etc yeah I, I did that it, it was very interesting and I'm very glad because all the remixes are very 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 good and and what's the date that these are going to come out is it going to come out in one album or are you going to put them out individually no, uh, I, I, we will read them each um, one by one, each um, starting uh, in April, uh, if I recall, uh, 17, April 17, the first one uh, going to be in Comic Christ. And then uh, each two weeks, one, two. One, uh, one single, one remix. Awesome. And uh, there, there are uh, eight or nine remixes. That's great, man. That's Gives us something to look forward to during these times we're locked in the house there, you know? Yeah, and, uh, you know, um, these days, um, it suits very well to the streaming, you know, to have uh, something new uh, each week or each two weeks. Um, uh, people like that, you know, and uh, me, too, as, a, as a, I stream a lot, I buy CD2, but I stream a lot, and I, I like to have... Uh, news from Spotify and the release radar, all that stuff, all this uh, playlist algorithm, algorithmic playlist, and um, um, it's it's like you know uh, um, uh, a rendezvous, a regular rendezvous with a band, you know, uh, yeah. knowing that you will have uh, each two weeks a new a, a something new to 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 uh, to listen. I, I like that. Now, are they going to be able to go right to your Facebook page to get the link for those tracks? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. All right, man. I thank you for your time. I'm looking forward to these new tracks coming out. Uh, the album comes out next Friday, and hopefully we might see a tour from you <laughs> at least by next year. Yeah, I hope to. And thank you very much uh, for the interest. I, I appreciate it, and uh, stay safe. You too, man. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much.